It is impossible to stand in downtown Searcy and not see a symptom of muralitis. And not just on big visible buildings. Even out of the way places like this ordinary alley. Made extraordinary by people infected with a desire to paint the town. Many people say this is where it all started. Harding art instructor Daniel Adams and his students wanted to help Searcy get the big picture. Not 100% sure they started it, but we know who's spreading it. This is an everyday commute for Jason White. We caught him in the act of spreading mural fever. He had only three days to finish this one, but he took time out to show us how he has infected this community. I finished this one about two and a half weeks ago, and it's organically, it, it, it's reached over 5,000 people. This one represents the history of Searcy from our founding uh, to our, our present and our future, honestly. A hunter looking for bear discovers Sulphur Springs, Searcy's original name. The ox, representative of Searcy's agriculture, depicting Searcy's three main crops. Strawberry, soybeans, and cotton. That's an iron horse, symbolizing trains and the growing industry. And the elephant? The elephant just kind of represents our uh, you know, our productivity, our growth. As for Jason's history, it's remarkable he's doing all that he is. I've just always had a fear of really pursuing it, and so I've let that fear really stop me all my life. Anytime I would start to get some momentum, I'd back away from it. But four years ago, he painted bank windows, and that gave way to murals. And the boy too scared to fully commit to art is a man in demand. Three to five months uh, backed up right now. And this is the mural he's working on now. All the way down. Watching him, you'd never know he'd ever been intimidated. I asked Jason if he painted a mural based on his life. What would it depict? It'd probably be something going from, from darkness to light, I guess. You know, that the fear overshadows things so much, you know? And to be able to overcome something like that, uh, I would want to paint something that just really told that story and encouraged everybody that they could do the same thing regardless of what it is. The mural of his story is the moral of this one. Uh, oh, and P.S. He finished his mural on time.